give honor to God who is ahead of my life. Yeah. Yeah. To the leaders of this house, Mr. Jenkins, and Pastor Tommy Jenkins, to Mother Furby, to Pastor Allen in his absence, to Pastor Troy, to all my co laborers, to the congregation, and the guests who are here. So the theme for today is become legendary, but I'm coming from a topic that is called legendary service. Mm. The scripture is going to be Colossians 3, 23 to 24. But before I begin, I would like you guys, if I speak a little too fast, just yell out, slow down. I have a tendency to speak Amen. fast. So if I do, just yell out, slow down. Amen. Amen. Slow down. <laughs> Amen. So the scripture reads, And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord, and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord. Heavenly Father, I come before you today just asking that you come and stand before me, and that I decrease so that you can increase, so that people hear you and not me. Amen. So when I found out the theme, I thought about what it meant to be legendary and the type of people we consider to be legends. And my question for you guys is two parts. So to you, what does it mean to be legendary? Do you truly understand the definition of legendary? And then who comes to mind when you think of legends? So for me, I think of people like Aaliyah, Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, Josephine Baker, Kurt Franklin, and Missy Elliott. Those people for me come to mind because they have stepped outside of the box when it came to their area of expertise, be it sports, music, dance. They are people that influence others. So me being the book nerd that I am, I had to go and define the word legendary and legend. Legendary means of, relating to, or characteristic of a legend, to be well known or famous. Legend means an extremely famous or notorious person in a particular field, a person or thing that inspires legends, a story coming down from the past. So again, with thinking of Michael Jackson, we know that he's a legend because of all that he's done within the music industry. For Missy Elliott, all that she's done musically, video-wise, dance. Kirk Franklin, because he's just done a whole lot. <laughs> So today we are not here to only appreciate Pastor Troy, but to love on and encourage him to become and remain legendary, not for this world, for God and his kingdom. I'm sure we can all think of a few legends from the Bible, such as Peter, Paul, John, um, <laughs> Ruth, and Jesus himself. All right. And these are real legends because they lived solely for God and served him with their entire being. So looking at two words from scripture, um, verse 23, Whatsoever in Greek means pas, um, and it means the whole, any, all, and everything. Yeah. Heartily in Greek is kushé, meaning from the heart and the soul. Mm -hmm. So this means in everything that we do, we should do it from the heart as if we are serving God himself. Mm -hmm. If you read Ephesians 6, 6-7, through 7, it reiterates the same idea that not with eye service as men pleasers, but as bond servants of Christ. Doing the will of God from the heart with good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men. Right. I know that when it comes to being a legend, many people think of pleasing the world, pleasing man. But service to God is more important than anything else. Pleasing man will never make you complete. It will always leave you feel, feeling empty. And that's because man does not desire what God desires to you. Man will always leave you empty. Many people seek to make themselves legends by doing grand things in order to be well-known by people. However, we know that God doesn't want us to please man or to be known by the grand things that we do. He wants us to please him in the minute things. In doing so, we become legendary in the kingdom, Amen. for the kingdom. Yes. So the biblical legends include David. You know, He didn't become a legend because he paraded his strength on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Even after being anointed as the next king, he still went back and did the work that he was supposed to do. Yes. As for Esther, you know, she was the queen, but she didn't rant her emotions and feelings to the king after she found out about Haman and what he wanted to do to her people. Yes. She was patient. She had faith in God to deliver her people. 
Amen. Jesus himself did not show out his power and authority. He simply did the work of the Father, never desiring for a massive crowd or to become an earthly king. Amen. Right. These legends did not abuse their power. They served God faithfully from start to finish, and they simply abided by what Colossians 3.17 tells us. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving yes. thanks to God the Father through him. We are created and placed on this earth to honor and serve God alone, Amen. not man. Amen. We were purposed for him to serve his people, and everything that we do in this life should be done to glorify him and honor him with clear intent and purpose, which is to expand his kingdom. Amen. Be it the mundane things such as doing your chores in a house, if you have to you know, drive the bus if you're an MTA driver, anything that you do should be done for God. It's not for your boss. Your boss, yes, you have to. Go to them because that's who you have to report to. But the person who gave you that job is God. Yeah. He expects you to do what you're called to do. Yeah. So becoming a legend in the kingdom is always going to require some sacrifice and suffering. Mm. Peter and Paul suffered for the sake of the gospel. Peter was beaten and Paul in prison. Ruth had to go through heartache, loss, opposition, and change to become the legend that she is. Yeah. Jochebed went through maternal pain while exercising her faith. Yes. Noah held fast to his faith while building yeah. the ark that many people made fun of him for. Yeah. Job was almost cast aside by his family and friends. Almost. All these legends were diligent and fervent in the Amen. spirit, as Romans 12, 11 mentions. And Amen. everything they did was in service to God with all their might, according Amen. to Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. Amen. Pastor Troy. Your service to God is the beginning of your legacy, which yes, will God. continue to make you legendary in the kingdom. Yes, God. Your worship is contagious in that it sparks others to worship. Yes, you have no qualms about where you are. You will praise God no matter what. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> your mindset for God's word is outstanding. From creating a service to facilitating a retreat, you do it with the spirit of excellency because you love and honor the Father. All that you do for God gets stored up in heaven according to Matthew 6, 20 and 21, which says, But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. Yes. You treasure the word of God above all else. Amen. It shows. Amen. Pastor, you are, ready, or you are already well on your way to becoming and remaining yes, God. for God in his kingdom. Yes. You do a great work for him. Yes, God. Amen. Today, I want to encourage you to push forward in all that God has given and revealed to you. <laughs> he wrote a phenomenal book, but there are seven others stored in Yeah. Yes. Those books are needed for the young and the mature. Amen. Your school, keep moving forward towards it. It's purpose to save lives and prepare a new generation Amen. in a mighty way. Grab a hold to God even when it looks impossible, even if you have to cry at night. Amen. Yes, God. Even if you have to leave some people behind, keep going. John 15 and 16 says, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should remain, and that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. Amen. You are a legend in the kingdom. Continue being legendary for God. Yes, God. But through your service and your worship. Yes, God. Greater is coming. Yes, God. And the last thing I want to say, God has been telling me this the whole week. I've been trying to figure out this sermon. I'm not sure if this is something that he will bring to you. But he keeps telling me to tell you to create that organization.